is getting worked on. Let's talk about action games, Rachel. Yes. There were so many good action games at the show this year. Like oh a ridiculous amount of they, action games. They like blew up the show, absolutely. Yeah, it was nuts. Uh, I, so many good titles. Uh, I mean, they didn't all win awards from us. They can't all win awards no, from us. No, we don't have enough room in our award show to fit all I mean, of if it. they all won awards, it would cheapen the award itself. But uh, Rachel and I each have our own pick. Mm hmm And uh, Rachel... Ladies I first. I had to go with Dishonored. That game is amazing. I had heard so much about it until finally yeah, I got to go in and uh, see the demo for it. And then they had little stations you could play it afterwards. It's just brutal, but you don't have to play it brutal if you don't want to. You can you play can kind of stealthy sneaky. and slow and use your powers. Be all solid or snake. Or you can be like me and just run into the room and shoot everything that moves. It, it bends with your play style. It's a little Bioshocky, but um, which is a good thing. Love Bioshock. I just love everything about the game. Everything, I just, when watching them play it at first, I just wanted to sit there in my seat and giggle. But there were other people <laughs> around, so I couldn't giggle wildly. Couldn't giggle. But oh, it's just so, so, so good. I am definitely excited about So this, this is honor. actually a Bethesda title that has some promise, some potential? Oh my God, I think it's got more than promise and potential. I am all about it already. Dang, mm -hmm. that's pretty impressive. So like, What's the story? You're like some like guy that works for like a king or something like that, and then they frame you for murder. I don't know or? about the story. Really? I just know I can go around killing things. You just go I around can, uh, that's you get all. all these really cool powers. I just go around killing things. Yeah. I got I, like I love superpowers. The I love the artwork, but also you Man. can kind of like warp into people and animals to use it towards your advantage. So there was a scene where he had to go into a building, so he kind of like warped into a fish. So use the fish to swim up a grate, and then when he was inside, then he could warp back into his own body. It was cool. So wait, he turned into a fish? Uh -huh. He kind of like warped into the fish, took over the fish's body, control of it. Like another scene where he had to jump off the building, and there was a lady sitting down below. So as he's falling, he warped into her body, so he went like splat, mm -hmm. and then he warped back into his own body. Damn. And then the characters you warp into, they're kind of confused. They're like, wait, what just happened? And then they're just kind of clueless for a Wait. few seconds. Oh my God, what just happened? Yeah, they go super blonde for a oh little bit. Oh my God. But it's really, really cool. Very creative. Yes to this game. Yes to this game. Well, that sounds pretty cool, but my pick may be cooler. I went with Watch Dogs. Uh, when I, I don't know. I just was like blown away by this game. It's really, really impressive. I need uh, to see a little bit more because I'm excited for it too, but I want to make sure it's not just GTA with technology. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it is kind of like Blade Runner and GTA kind of crossing over, but I mean, in the demo that I saw, like the character found a little spot to hide up on a subway platform and then used his abilities to hack through a bunch of different cameras on the streets. Mm -hmm. And then he found his target and he followed his target and then he timed it perfectly. He, he hit a light switch so that like, you know, lights turned red and green and caused a huge car accident. And then his target gets out of the car and he just like snipes them all from up there on the subway uh, platform. Yeah, no, like I'm, like crazy I'm like for it. I just clever stuff like that. I just don't know how that hacking thing would be still fresh and exciting five hours in. Yeah, like if well, you go hack again. I think it's kinda I think it'll be kinda like Deus Ex where they kind of you know, they don't let out. Like you're not gonna have all these abilities at once. You'll, you'll gain them as you go through, obviously. Uh, I'm sure that they unlocked even more just for, uh, just for the demo right. than yeah. you'll actually have. Oh, and that's like why I want to see a little bit more, because I want to see how the game actually plays when it's not on show. Yeah. And just make sure, again, it's not just another GTA. Okay, but did you see the iPad integration that they have going for this game? I did not. Okay, the iPad integration is... I love iPad integration. This is, this is what really pushed it over the top for me when I was like, oh, wow, this is really freaking cool. Uh, the iOS uh, app that they're going to have uh, will allow... It'll have, like, the entire city of Chicago at your disposal, and then you'll be able to see your friends playing the game, and you'll be able to go and dick with your friends. You'll be able to hack stuff oh. from your phone and dick with your friends' games, like as they're trying to complete missions. So be careful who you add. Yeah, yeah. I'm not adding you. Oh, I would so dick you <laughs> I know, around I know so you hard. would. Oh, you'd exactly. be so screwed. Okay, yeah. that adds a whole new different element to the game that I'm makes me even more excited for it. Yeah. You're that, I think that will keep things a little bit more fresh and mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah, no, and you can also, anything that, like, if you hack into somebody's phone and you're, like, listening to their conversation, it'll all be saved and you'll be able to access it from that database okay. on the phone. So it's, like, there's a lot of integration between the actual game and the app itself. So it's almost like having, 
having that be a Wii U pad for you. Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, no. I, I, no, I definitely like. Yeah, the whole the whole angle they're taking with with the with the panopticism and with the with the hacking and then integrating that with actual technology, totally freaking rad. I am yeah. definitely pumped for the next Watch Dogs game, or for the first Watch Dogs game rather. So I'm excited about this so good next. on you, Ubisoft.